In this video, we will look at several analysis design methods used in statistical papers. This is part 4 in the Navigating Statistics in Research series. The analysis design is a description of the statistical methods used by authors to develop an understanding of the results. It is found throughout both the methods section and the results section, and is usually integrated into the same paragraphs that focus on results or measurement evaluation. The focus of the analysis is on what steps are taken or what tests and adjustments are made to ensure the analysis method will work in the current situation. In the method section, we will see descriptions of the steps that are taken to ensure an appropriate selection of specimens or survey respondents is made. If it is an experiment involving groups and controls, the author will describe how the groups were chosen what the main differences are between the groups, and the steps taken to ensure independence between the groups. The key concepts that both author and reader consider are whether there are any biases or confounding variables introduced by the measurement methods, and whether there is sufficient independence between the variables and between the groups. Some of the analysis decisions can only be determined after looking at the results. Most analysis methods come with a set of assumptions, so the first stage of presenting the results typically addresses testing these assumptions against the obtained data. If it passes the test, then the designated analysis can progress. However, if it doesn't pass the test, then either the analysis method has to be changed to an alternative method, or the data altered in an appropriate way to meet the assumptions. At times, certain data points can dominate an analysis. This is only apparent after we have looked at the results, that is, after the analysis is complete. So statisticians have developed post-analysis tests to assess the validity of the results and ways to deal with the problem data points. This is the end of the fourth video in the Navigating Statistics in Research series.